Hi, Courtney. And today we're going to show you our Funko, Funko collection. collection. So this Funko collection is definitely not an overnight thing. We have been collecting Funkos for a while now. And it's very hard to narrow them down because Disney has so many cute characters. It's very hard to just pick a few. And they're always coming out with new ones. Especially now with a lot of the newer movies. They're releasing more. And they're also doing limited editions at different places. So it's very hard to keep up with all of them. But we thought we'd do a video. Or maybe we're going to do two. Actually we're going to do part one and part two. Because we have 18 Funkos total. And we're going to show you what... Are my Funkos, what are Courtney's Funkos, and ones that we kind of share joint custody of because we both think the character is really cute and it's both our favorite. So we just kind of, some will be in my room, some will be in Courtney's room. So we definitely wanted to share this with you guys. And we're also going to give you some Funko buying tips that maybe you didn't think about before. And also we're going to try to remember, if we can, exactly where we got them, about kind of what their price range is from. And also, just to kind of show you, maybe there's a Funko you haven't seen that you might see as, see in the video, and you might want to go get yourself. So, we'll be definitely showing you all of our Funkos, so stick around. Okay, guys, so we're going to start off with Wally and Eve. And actually, really, we're going to start off with Eve, because I'll tell you a quick story about her. I actually got her maybe a few years ago at the Disney outlet, and it was the only Funko there. And she was on clearance, and I couldn't believe it, first of all. I thought she was really cute, and this was before what I really knew what Funkos were, or I think maybe even before they kind of gained popularity and started putting more characters out. So I think I paid like $3.99 for her, and she probably was even more off of that because they do have you know extra 20 or 25% off at the Disney outlet. So this is probably my cheapest Funko that I have for sure. Aside from some other ones that I'll tell you about. But she's really, really cute. And so once I bought her, I was on the quest to find, of course, Wally. And normally, like I said, I keep them all in boxes now since, you know, I treat them as collector items. But I kind of had taken her out. So she's been out since I got her. So I kind of leave her out. And then I finally got Wally. So they can be together. And Wally is just so cute. The detail. I mean, look at that. The tread on his little tires, all the, you know, buttons, his little hands, his eyes. I mean, he is really cute and definitely probably one of my favorite pops just because of the detail. But I think they just look so cute together. And I got Wally, I believe, off of Amazon. I found him maybe for like $8. He was really cheap and I got free shipping. So he's one that I kind of picked up. I think my mom actually bought um, him for me for my birthday maybe last year. And he's just so cute. I really love him. And he, of course he goes with Eve. They go together like peanut butter and jelly. They have to be together. So she was lonely for a long time before I got Wally. But it was definitely worth the wait. And they make a cute couple. So those are actually the only Funkos that are out of the box. The rest of them we do keep in their boxes. Just because we want to keep them safe. But they are still on display and we love looking at them. So I'm going to put these away and we'll go on to the next one. And so we're kind of starting by series. So this one says series 10. And of course this is Tinkerbell. And I know our channel is very new. But she's actually probably one of my favorite characters. She's one that I really collect uh, Tinkerbell in my pens. It's kind of like my main character that I collect with pens is Tinkerbell. Because there's just so many Tinkerbell pens. And there's just so many cute ones. So I believe that I got her at Hot Topic. And she's just really cute and the wings are really adorable. And so as you can see, this is a Series 1 Funko Pop. And there's so many cute ones in this series. I know it's kind of random. But if I were to get any more than this series, I really would have to say I love Snow White just right off the bat. I mean, I although I love all these characters, just like off the top of my head, Snow White is the one I would probably get. What about you, Courtney? Cruella. Cruella. Yeah, she's really cute. Courtney likes the villains a little bit more than I do. But Cruella is definitely cute. She has a lot of personality. So this is Tink. And another tip I was just kind of wanting to say is um, definitely use Hot Cash or another store that maybe a lot of people don't have. It's called Box Lunch. And so if you spend so much there, because I'm a biology major and they have a lot of geeky stuff that is just so really cute. So I occasionally get some things there that I have never seen anywhere else. So that's kind of how I maybe will accumulate just a little bit of the box lunch money. 
And so I definitely would use that. And I also find that their Funko Pops are cheaper than Hot Topic. And they're actually kind of like sister companies. But for some reason, Box Lunch is a little bit cheaper with um, the Funkos. And also, I think for every $30 or $10 you spend, uh, actually... Uh, they donate money to like a local food bank or they do a lot of charity work with their company. So that's kind of what's unique about them. So Tinkerbell, there she is. We'll move on to the next one. And this is another one of the early pops. And I know that I got her at Hot Topic. And that is, of course, Ariel. She is really cute and her tail is actually glittery. I've actually taken her out and she has the little purple flower definitely really cute she's in series three and there's so many in series three that I would want to get I definitely I'm a huge Peter Pan fan I'd have to get him I love Winnie the Pooh again and Edna Mode I mean she's definitely on my list of ones to get Cheshire Cat or Cheshire Cat is also really cute Mad Hatter could go with you know my Alice that we have um who would you get on the series Ursula Ursula she's really cute too and please she'd go with Ariel. So Ariel's kind of a joint custody one even though she does stay in my room because me and Courtney are just huge Little Mermaid fans and Courtney more than I am really because um, the Little Mermaid kind of came out when she was really little. So that's definitely near and dear to Courtney's heart. But yes, we both love Ariel. So that's definitely one of my favorite Funkos. They're all kind of my favorite. So... Okay guys, next up is Alice. She's number 49. And uh, she is so cute. She has rosy little cheeks. And her little shoes are so cute. And I believe she is in series 5. And they have a lot of different cute ones. Um, King Louie is adorable. We still have to get Jasmine for sure. Right. Dumbo is cute. So and I, Which one would you get out of these? Other than the ones we're going to show y'all. We didn't want to spoil it, but... Which, I like King Louie. He's King Louie. cute. We, we have a thing for orangutans, by the way, too. I like Jasmine. I think she's really cute. Aladdin's one of my favorite movies, so she definitely would be on my list. But um, I actually got this for Courtney for Christmas, and I had some box lunch money, and I found her, in, uh, I think, online, and she might have even been on sale, because you know they have online sales. And so what I do is I notice that when you buy online sometimes, they actually have better sales in um, the online stores than they actually do in the actual store. So not only did I have, I think, the box lunch money, but I don't think you can actually use them together. But I got a good deal on her, I know. But anyway, she was only ten fifty to begin with, and I think at Hot Topic, they start out, I think, maybe around 12 I'm not quite sure. I think they are twelve fifty, so they are slightly cheaper at box lunch if you have that store near you that store is actually kind of new in one of our malls that we kind of have to drive th drive to but nonetheless really really cute and I'm so glad because Courtney's a huge Alice fan and I just when I saw it I had to get it for her for Christmas so we'll show you another one coming up next okay so here's another joint custody one because we both love Mary Poppins this is just really purely nostalgic for us. We used to watch Mary Poppins when we were little all the time. And I just thought that she was the cutest thing. I think Mary is just, you know, a classic Disney figure. And I'm a, another, I keep saying a huge fan. But I'm literally a huge fan of Julie Andrews. I kind of wish she was my grandma. Because unfortunately me and Courtney lost our grandmas kind of young on both sides of our family. And just something about Julie Andrews, you just kind of wish she was your grandma. At least I always have. And I loved her in the Princess Diaries and just everything that Julie Andrews does, I just love. And so just it's just really cute. And I don't know if you can tell through the box, but she also has the little parrot head umbrella. And of course her magic little bag that she carries with her and her scarf. And she's just really cute and the flowers in her hat. And she's also, she's number 51, and she's also in the same series as Alice, the series 5. And she's just really cute. And I'll actually tell you a story. I'll go ahead and show you the next one, and I'll kind of tell you how I ended up with Mary. And also, Merida. She is another one that I recently got, actually, at Toys R Us. And they actually were having on the Disney Classic Funkos, which I believe, you know, it can't be like the Zootopia or anything like that. 
I guess it's just the classic Disney ones. They were actually having a sale for buy one, get one 40% off, which to me was a great deal. And they were already, I think, $9.99. So that in combination with the sale was a great deal. And Merida is just, I, we love what Merida stands for. We actually have Scottish in our background and our heritage. So I just love how she's just a strong character. Her hair is just awesome. She's just so strong and, and of course, brave. So we definitely love Merida. And she's in the, that same series. She's number 57. Which you would think, because Merida is kind of a new character, so these, you know, can't be that terribly old, because, you know, Brave didn't come out that long ago. But, you know, once again, this is another kind of series that has just kind of a lot of random characters. It's not really a cohesive collection, or co cohesive series. But just a detail they got with her ringlets. So cute, and of course she has her little bow and arrow and her dress. So I got her, once again, at Toys R Us. So the next one in the series is another one that I got for Courtney, and it is Russell. And I also got him at Box Lunch, and I also had you know a discount, so I got him a little bit cheaper. He is in the same series, and it's kind of funny because Courtney has all these little pet names. Like Courtney just calls me whatever comes to her head, whatever comes to her brain. She just calls me, and I answer. I don't know what it is. And look at his cute little rosy cheeks, and of course his little badges and his sash his wilderness explorer regalia and he has a cute little hat he's just really cute and Courtney calls me Russell I guess because I remind her of Russell which I don't look like Russell per se but I think because it's time her little sister and maybe she kind of acts like Carl a little bit <laughs> she kind of acts like Carl but she calls me Russell and so I had to get her this one because I'm her little Russell so she has her little Russell Funko and so this is another one of Courtney's and it is Mrs. Pot and Chip. How cute. And I actually bought this a while ago at Hot Topic, but I did see it at Toys R Us when the sale was going on. So I I think I used hot cash on these because I like try to never pay regular price for anything. So I'm sure I used some kind of coupon or whatnot or there was a sale. But Lumiere. Cogsworth, Bell, I would take any of these, really. What do you think? Totally. Yeah. I'd love to have. I love Beauty and the Beast. It's another one of those movies that we were really obsessed with. So, really, I could keep, get this whole collection. So, that's, and this is also really cool because this is the first Funko that we got that actually had two little characters in it. So, not only do you get Mrs. Pot, you get Chip. And I'm a huge Chip fan. And... Actually, one of the things that's coming in our order, I actually got the chip mug that's at the parks, which I regretted not buying when I was there this last summer. So I finally picked it up so I can go to sleep at night a little bit better. But of course, that is Mrs. Pot and Chip. Okay, guys, so this is our final look for our part one of me and Courtney's Funko collection. So of course, we have Eve and Wally. Mary Poppins, Mrs. Potts and Chip, classic Tinkerbell, Ariel, Alice, Russell, and Merida. So definitely come back. We'll be posting another video, some more Funkos, and we'll tell you where we got them, how we got them, and also maybe some more tips to help you save a little bit of extra money on those Funkos. So definitely please like, subscribe, share, help out our little channel, and please let us know what kind of videos you'd like to see. And also, what are some of your favorite Funkos? Especially, what is your favorite Disney Funko? I know it's super hard to choose, but if you had to choose one Funko, what would be your favorite? So again, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye, Bye. guys!